I'm at Xeno. We're about to start with Solar Beam and Muster, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yes. Going immediately to the Ridley and Ness. How do you think this is going to go? I mean, I think what Ridley really is going to have to do is focus on knocking stuffed out by Ness, like doing Jump Fair or PK Fire on the ground. And when he can do that, it's going to be so huge that he capitalizes off stage against Ness. That's where he's going to be getting his stocks mostly, is exploiting Ness's recovery. Like maybe right now with a double jump, managing to avoid the double fair right there. Yeah, I, I agree to, to an extent because I know Ridley has a lot of range and he could be deadly when he has his advantage state. But Ness is not one of those characters that anyone in the entire tri can be sleeping on either. He might have small range, but when Ness is in, he gets in your face. And I know there's really tends to be one of those characters that he doesn't really like characters that have a lot of projectiles in battle. Yeah, for sure. That's that's really like Ness just has the ability to press buttons <laughs> way more often Speaking than Ridley. And that's a button that will kill you at way lower percent than Solar Beam did die at, but so oh, What no. makes it so crazy is that everyone knows how to tech, but with Ness specifically, so it just it's so strong that you just it's untackable. It's untackable. And yeah, a lot of people don't early. really understand what that scenario is. Ooh, but that right there is exactly what he needs to be doing. Yeah, I love the edge guard. He just dropped low, took his time. Yeah, immediately he, back hit punish right there. He knew that with using the double jump, Ness had to start the up B like right there. He couldn't wait any longer. Oh, that's oh. what Ridley was going to struggle at too. Poor Ridley having a very linear recovery is not going to help him at all in that scenario. Yeah, and I think uh, Mustard recognized that and was, knew that he could just keep spamming PK uh, Thunders and if he misses one tech, he's dead. And already, Solar Beam seems to, he, he needs, he's trying to end this stock really quick, trying to immediately throw him off stage, but Mustard, is, he's not going to have it quite yet. Ooh. What an off smash, and it actually killed. Yeah, and that's like, you know, <laughs> probably one of the biggest Ness habits across all Nesses is doing a PK fire while landing on the platform, just like that right, right. there. And it seems like Mustard's in such a habit of it that he'll do it even when I've never Beam's understood how Nesses can, like, auto cancel down there on the platforms. Well, they make it look so easy. Yeah, well, it was, that was PK fire right there, though. But, um, yeah, Nesses down air, if you do it right before it lands, it just auto cancels on itself. But you don't, there's no, like, special timing. I like it's the punishes that Muffler cut. I like the punishes that Solar Beam is doing whenever he's on this advantage in the platform. He waits until Mustard is throwing aerial pressures passing by his body, and as soon as he passes by his body, an up smash was waiting right there. And yeah. that's how we're going to end the game one, exactly like I was saying. The up smash looks like Ridley's anti-air whenever he's on top. Especially with how Mustard was landing on the platforms. He like went to the platform almost every time and decided to do a PK fire, decided to do something that Ooh. Ridley does not care about. Look at that up yeah, smash, he, you it, know? It, it basically covers the entire platform, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, definitely does. <laughs> so it, it's just like Mustard clearly knew how to kill Ridley when like getting Ridley off stage. But it didn't matter because at the end of the day, Solar Beam was way more consistent at like winning in when they were both yeah. on stage. And Solar Beam knew that every time Mustard was off stage or had to land, he could kill him. So it's mostly just Mustard has to be a bit more smart with the options he put, put, chooses in disadvantage so they can't get stuffed out as much. Right. I noticed that too. I kind of agree is that when Solar Beam is off stage, he's really struggling. But when he's on the stage against Mustard, that's when Solar Beam really has to shine and abuse Ridley's advantage state. And he was doing that, but once again, kind of getting stuffed out. This is a big opportunity. Mustard is so reliant on these PK fires. It seems he kind of just presses them kind of automatically once he gets hit. And Solar Beam was punching in. If he can keep at it, Mustard definitely could get zero to death. Ooh, almost clipped him with the dash attack right there. That wouldn't be healthy. And this is where Ridley's going to struggle. He's on top of Ness. What's going to do? All right, just gonna go right to ledge. Ah, uh, trying to call in another dash attack, but must have not fallen for it right there. And what another up smash coming in. At that point, he, I don't, I wouldn't even know what must have could have done right no, there. No, once he air dodged, uh, because <laughs> Ness is so insanely floaty, the directional air dodge is gonna fall down really slow, giving yeah. uh, Solar Beam plenty of time to just react and run up up smash. That's another fact that I just noticed right there, too. A lot of characters, when Ness is edge guarding them with the yo-yo, a lot of characters really can't do anything about it. But Ridley's one of those characters that his recovery is so disjointed, it doesn't care about yo-yo at all. So I feel like Mustard is going to have to be a little more creative on how he's going to edge guard Ridley. Ooh. Probably throw a PK fire in the corner. Wow, That's what an edge guard Ness. from Solar Beam. Yeah, killing the same way he did the second stock, I think, game one. Just drop down Nair on the up B before the hitbox comes oh, out. Oh, no back throw. Probably didn't believe that it wouldn't kill right there. All right, nice patience with Solar Beam. Not gonna run into everything. And I, 
He's really. This is a whole different turnaround from game one. Yeah, I think Solar Beam realized that he can kind of just let Mustard come to him. Mustard isn't playing that defensive. Mustard's kind of just like pressing buttons near Solar Beam. Yep. So wow, if he, he just does lets that. Mustard come to him, land on him with stuff, he can just F tilt it, stuff it out any way he wants. Oh, and using his invincibility, <laughs> just grabbing Ness out of the dash. <laughs> so what are you doing moving around like this? Uh, oh, oh, I thought you was going to let him rip. Yeah, I think he, he was a bit slow to pull the trigger right there. Should have been dead. He didn't, it felt like he didn't believe in the... Wow. <laughs> Probably a missing point, but we're gonna let it rock anyway. No, yeah, he I shot a volley. I think he was going for that, but when he realized that was above him, just went to the left, so he yeah. didn't kill himself. Cause he tried to, he tried to go, he tried to go out with style at this point. Yup, nice up beat, breaking the yo-yo happen right there. Oh my God! Oh, oh. oh okay. that's a okay. I thought he was gonna go for the geek smash. Nah, nah, nah. I'm I getting a last hit before. Yeah, I, go. I respect the final hit right there. Like, <laughs> I'm not totally done. My man is like, ah, right, I kind of got schmix. I got body. Let me let me just give one more hit. <laughs> it's like that's that pride right there. It's like you know what? Yeah, I got edge guarded. I can't really do anything. And even if he did hit himself, Solomon was just practically ready for anything. Yeah, at he that kind of made it back at that point. It was it was game over. Respect the final hit. And that really the whole game was just the story of Mustard pressing buttons and Solar Beam realizing more and more that he could just wait, right. you know? He could just chill, take his time, stand very grounded whenever Ness was in the air. And every time Mustard landed on a platform in a bad way, he just was ready for that up smash yeah. 100% of the time. One of Ridley's best moves, that up smash. It's so, like, Especially that it comes huge. from behind him, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it can hit really low as well if you're, like, pressing buttons behind Ridley. He can just up smash you, and it's pretty fast. Like, there was a scenario when, like, I think it was on Mustard's second stock that he was falling on a platform, but I guess Solar Beam almost missed his adjustment on when the up smash was going to come out, but still had enough time to kill him anyway. And there's a final hit. Boom. Um, I'm leaving out with some type of style. Moving on to my next round. That was I like that. It was really good. Uh, that was a fun first set. Like, Ness Ridley, you're not really going to see, like, a seven-minute game. Right. You know, they're gonna they're <laughs> it's going to go press either buttons. way. <laughs> yeah, some, something's going to happen. But coming next, we're going to have Sonic Fiend versus...